this place is bonkers. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cameos you might have missed in animated movies. Number 10. Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston, The Iron Giant Go on, tell them what you saw, Frank. You're not gonna believe this. Director Brad Bird credits two of Disney legends, Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston, as major sources of inspiration for his own work. In fact, he often honors his real-life role models by depicting them in his animated feature films. You might remember Thomas and Johnston's cameos in Bird's directorial debut, The Iron Giant. The acclaimed animators can briefly be seen towards the beginning of the film as a train engineer and fireman. Number 9. Fa Mulan, Lilo and Stitch Lilo and Stitch has not one but two sneaky references to the Chinese warrior. The first can be spotted after Lilo adopts Stitch at the animal shelter. Okay, I gotta get to work. Stick around town and stay out of the roads, okay? I'll meet you at one. As she, her sister, and their new friend are walking away, they pass a restaurant named after the legendary heroine. On top of that, a poster for the 1998 film hangs on the wall in Nani's bedroom. Honestly, now that we think about it, Nani has a lot in common with Mulan. You know, the whole hard-working, young, independent woman vibe? So it makes sense that she might look up to her. Number 8. Rapunzel and Flynn Rider – Frozen During the song For the First Time in Forever, Anna can be seen passing the couple as she makes her way through the castle gates. Although they're only shown from behind and a little to the side, their likeness is undeniable. Rapunzel's still sporting her short brown hair, as well as a dress reminiscent of the one she wears in her own movie. Meanwhile, Eugene dons an outfit much fancier than what we're used to seeing him in, but we'd recognize that head of hair anywhere. Number 7. Flounder, Moana One of Disney's most famous fish is Ariel's sidekick Flounder. Ariel! I can't! Flounder. In the nautical tale Moana, a fish that fits his description appears for a split moment during the song You're Welcome. Although the animation style's different, the fish has Flounder's markings, fins, and even the little tuft on the top of his head. He's only on screen for about a second, swimming with a school of sea creatures, so you honestly might have to watch frame by frame to see him. Number 6. Who doesn't have a cameo at this point? Wreck-It Ralph franchise. In the first film, the protagonist of the 80s game Paperboy can be seen delivering papers in Game Central Station. If you look carefully, you can also spot Bowser and Sonic in the power strip. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, Miranda Sings is shown when her avatar accidentally gets smushed. The avatar of yet another famous icon, Stan Lee, is bumped into at one point as well. A single shot from Vanellope's trip to Oh My Disney shows Iron Man, Dumbo, R2-D2, Elsa, and so many more. Come on, princesses and cartoon characters, blame. Number 5. Ron Clements and John Musker – Nearly every film they've ever made together This animating duo has co-written and directed many beloved Disney films. You may not have realized it, but they often make cameos in their own projects. For instance, the pair can be seen in Aladdin during the titular character's confrontation with one of Jasmine's suitors. Another suitor for the princess. The shorter man with a bushy red beard resembles a Ron Clements of the time, while the lankier one with a gray mustache looks like John Musker. In Hercules, they're depicted as stone workers who have an unfortunate interaction with the demigod. They also make animated appearances in Treasure Planet, The Princess and the Frog, and Moana. Number 4. Pinocchio – Tangled Since the release of Disney's animated Pinocchio in 1940, their interpretation of the magical wooden puppet has made many cameos. I'll tell you one thing, Doc. He weren't no rabbit. Or a duck. Or a dog. Or a little wooden boy. He appears in movies like Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Aladdin, as well as in affiliated television shows and video games. In Tangled, during the song I've Got a Dream, the puppet is also visible in the rafters of the Snuggly Duckling pub. Number 3. Belle, Magic Carpet, and Pumbaa – The Hunchback of Notre Dame During the song out there from Disney's 1996 The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo expresses a desire to leave the cathedral and be among the people. Every day they shout, scold, and go about their lives. 
At one point, he looks down at the town below, where not one, but three familiar figures can be spotted. Belle is shown walking by while reading a book. No surprise there. She passes a villager who is shaking out a carpet resembling the one found by Aladdin. And on the other side of the street, two men carry a dead warthog that looks a little too much like Pumbaa for our liking. Later on, Pumbaa makes another appearance as a gargoyle. Number 2. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy, The Little Mermaid His Royal Highness King Triton! The three friends can be seen attending a concert held by King Triton in Atlantica. You might need to pause and zoom in on the lower left-hand corner in order to make them out. A closer look will reveal Goofy's long nose, Donald's yellow bill, and Mickey's round ears. We're not exactly sure how the land-based characters got tickets to the event, or how they're even breathing for that matter, but we guess those are just the perks that come with being three of Disney's most recognizable faces. Number 1. Jesse, Nemo, and Pixar's Luxo Ball, Monsters, Inc. Instead of appearing in the background or as side characters, Jesse, Nemo, and the Luxo Ball are used as props by the leads in this Pixar film. Towards the end of the story, Boo welcomes Sully into her room and eagerly shows him her toys, three of which look pretty familiar. She retrieves the cowgirl doll from the tabletop and the Luxo ball from the floor before giving them to the big blue monster. She then hands him a Nemo squeak toy. Since Monsters, Inc. was released two years before Finding Nemo, the clownfish's cameo originally served as a sneak peek for the future film. Well, that's very nice. 